Welcome to Free Workout Friday. Are you ready for your workout? Are your muscles ready? If they're not, why don't you grab that Hypervolt? This workout sponsored by Hyper Ice. Check out their stuff. It's awesome. Download their app, the Hyper Ice app, and try their products because they will have you feeling like a million bucks and ready to work out. A little, a little bang, a little Hypervolt. Okay, for, for sure, enough procrastinating. You guys wanna work out, so do we. We're gonna start with a warm up of slingshots. Nikolai is your pace setter today, showing you the way in three, two, one, 30 seconds per direction. Free workout Friday is awesome, but it's also part of a larger plan. We've got four other workouts each week that lead up to free workout Friday as an optional fifth workout. I encourage you to check it out on prokettlebell.com. Reverse directions if you want more of this. Nice, he's got nice loose hook grip with the fingers, passing that bell hand to hand easily. The feet move, everything moves, your hips move. You're moving freely because, you know, you hammered those muscles with the hypervolt. In three, two, one, turn the kettlebell upside down. We're gonna do ribbons. Hold it on one hip to start. Draw an imaginary line across to the opposite shoulder around your head, other hip when you come in front. So this is like your, um, you know, like a breast cancer ribbon shape. Hip, shoulder, behind, <laughs> and around. Opposite hip each time, shoulders are in, I'm uh, sorry, elbows are in tight next to your head as you pass the bell. All right, well that's good. Now set that kettlebell down and touch your toes while you're down there. We're gonna do squat benders. So it's a toe touch and then a squat. And then repeat, toe touch and squat. In 10 seconds, we're gonna move into a standing folding star. Well, you'll widen your stance a little bit and then go right hand to left foot and reverse it. Three, two, one, go, folding star. You only need one kettlebell for this class today, but if you have two, particularly if you have two light ones, we'll have a grand opportunity to use them in section two. We're gonna do hip swings in five, four, three, two, one. So balance on one foot or grab a wall if you would like to, because you're gonna kick that other foot freely forward and back. We're doing 30 seconds per leg here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Other leg. Very good. 15 more seconds and then we'll move into squat jacks for the final 30 seconds of our warm up and then we're gonna do section one. I'm gonna talk about section one during your squat jacks, which are happening in three, two, one. Hand to the floor and return. Very good. So section one, we're gonna do a Tabata to start. That's where you have 20 seconds of hard work. And I mean hard work, you guys. No slacking on your 20 seconds. Then 10 seconds of rest. And then we repeat that. Um, we're doing two hand swings and loaded reverse lunges, which we'll demo in a minute, and you'll alternate back and forth between those exercises for four rounds. After we get through that Tabata, we are gonna set aside our kettlebells and do one minute of narrow wide jump squats to finish off section one. So a two-hand swing, you probably all know that's time, Nikolai, thank you. Let's demo that two-hand swing. You're gonna start with the kettlebell. If you have options, a slightly heavier one since you're using both hands on the handle, Starts in front of him, squat down, hike it high between your legs, 
and stand back up. You swing it in a pendulum motion. That's great. Then we'll set that aside. Pick a lighter bell if you have one for a loaded reverse lunge. Or if you wanna be that guy, use your 32 kilo for your loaded reverse lunges too. So you'll nestle it between your shoulder blades and you're going to step back and down, alternating legs each rep. This is only 20 seconds. All right, at the end of that, no kettlebell, one minute finisher, narrow wide jump squats. You start with your feet together. You're gonna jump out and land knees softly, but in a squat, alternating that for one minute. All right, save it, save it. So do you have your bell for your two hand swings? And of course, for the loaded uh, reverse lunges, if it's uncomfortable or too challenging for you to use that, um, the loaded weight for that, you can do it just body weight is fine. Okay, so in five, four, three, two, one, two hand swings. Very nice. So you want to give it just enough energy that it is floating up to about chest or shoulder height. If it goes a little higher, that is fine, but it should just go up about shoulder height, about like Nikolai's doing here. Three, two, one and time. So you have 10 seconds off. You're going to cut into that a little bit to get ready so that you have that bell behind your shoulders on your back, ready to go in three, two, one, loaded reverse lunges. Very good. Pressing into that front heel to stand up. Very nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Get that kettlebell down to the floor. We got one round down, three rounds to go. In five, four, three, two, one. Hit it. Round two. And the breathing on this is out as you hinge the waist, bend forward, in as you stand up, your chest opens and it's just natural to let that air come in. And the in is through your nose, out through your mouth if you can. Three, two, one, and time. Great work. Loaded lunges, round two coming up. In three, two, one, and go. That there weight's heavy. That was heavier than the recommended weight. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Halfway through, of course, everybody is, you're going at your own pace, being safe, doing what you can do for you. In five, four, three, two, one, round three of swings. Great job standing all the way tall at the top of that swing, weights in the heels and helps you counterbalance against that heavy weight. Arms come in contact with your body in both the back swing and as you're standing up tall for the front. Three, two, one, time, good. The more time your arms are in contact, the better. Generally, the safer you are there. Three, two, one, lunges. Opting for double lighter weights on this one. Very crafty. Great job keeping your torso erect. Three, two, one, and time. We've made it to the final round. All right, two hand swing in three, two, one, go. Check in with yourself. Is the bell going between your legs as high as it can? I hope so. You should be feeling your forearms into the insides, upper part of your legs, your groin. And time. Good. 
Last set of lunges, with or without weight. Five, four, three, two, one, hit it. Awesome. 10 seconds down, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good, set those aside. We're gonna go right into one minute of narrow wide jump squats to finish off this tile. Just like that. Oh, save it, save it. Technical difficulty. Uh-oh. Hey, can you turn the uh, timer back off and on? Maybe it is the timer. Nice, way, way to work your magic and give yourself a break. All right, three, two, one, and go. Great job. Nice work. You're getting there, 25 seconds left. In and out, in and out, 20 seconds. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. Woo! Shake it out. So good news is you are really warmed up for section two. What we're gonna do is, it's five minutes of work, no stop. A minute of swings, which you will switch hands at your 30 second mark if you're doing singles. If you have light weights and wanna do doubles, then you will not switch hands. You'll just keep rolling with the doubles. Uh, after the first minute, you go right into a minute of cleans. So you'll switch back to the first hand you are using, as clean as a swing that you catch very gently in the rack position like so. And then we've got snatch for the third minute. This is a snatch with the normal hand insertion. So you've got that strong lockout at the top. If you don't know how to snatch, go ahead and do a bottoms up snatch where you swing it upward and press it up into lockout. Then you don't have to worry about the tricky hand insertion. That's a good way to start. So after we've gone through that first three minutes of work, we go back to the top and we're gonna do a two minute complex where we put them together. It's one swing, one clean and then one snatch or bottoms up snatch and you're going to do that for a minute per side again if you're working with light doubles you can do doubles for the whole two minutes so five minutes on the clock got your sip of water got your bells picked out got your pep talk Woo! are you ready got your sip of bang all right starting with one minute of swings in three two one go five minutes of work here so you're going to have a nice wide stance if you're working with two bells you can see your glutes and your hamstrings work in that pendulum motion there nice job standing up all the way tall at the top Getting ready to switch sides. If you're doing singles, you're gonna switch in three, two, one, and switch. So once you have swung the bell up and it is in its weightless phase, it's easy to use your fingertips to slightly pull the kettlebell close to you. So it's just a little bit closer. So when it drops back into the backswing, you can assist it into the back swing easily. It never gets too far away from you and pulls you forward. We're getting ready for cleans in three, two, one. Switch hands if you're doing singles and go into those cleans. The best part about the clean is that rack position. You can really rest there. 
as long as you want to for how you're feeling today. Just bring those elbows into your body, rest them on your torso. If you have straight legs, you'll be able to relax your quads in this position as well. So you do need to be able to bring your hips forward. Three, two, one, switch sides if you're doing singles. Great work, 20 more seconds, and then we'll be doing bottoms up snatch or regular snatch. Your choice, it's gonna be a one minute set, 30 seconds per side. In five, four, three, two, one, and hit it. Great. Definitely need that wider foot positioning if you're using the doubles. And imagine that they're running very parallel paths and don't hit each other in the back swing. Getting ready to switch sides if you're doing singles in three, two, one, and switch. Again, that little pull to get them closer to you, the bell's closer to you when it's weightless, that comes in super handy when you're doing snatch. So then it's traveling upward for that lockout position. You don't want a bunch of momentum and a huge arc pulling you back at the stopping position up there. Good job. We're about to start the complex. So you're gonna switch hands to do swing, clean, snatch, and go. If you're doing a single bell, you're back to your first hand, a swing, a clean, and then a snatch. And repeat for a whole minute on one side and then a whole minute on the other side. Thirty seconds till your hands switch if you're doing singles. Great job. Remember, use that rack position to rest as long as you need. Getting ready for your hand switch for your final minute in three, two, one, final hand switch, final minute of work. Pacing yourself in the rack position is super easy. Just count your breaths. If you're going fast, hey, I'm gonna breathe one breath and then go. If you need to slow it down, you can take two breaths, three breaths, just try to find a rhythm. That's what we're going for. Final 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Also, if you want to go ahead and heat your room to about 110 degrees like we are, that'll really up the stakes on this set. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And section two complete. Very good. Very good. Have a sip of that bang. We're moving on to section three. We've got one minute exercises. We'll take 10 seconds off between each. We'll go through it twice. 20, 20, 20 push-ups. I'd like you to do 20 seconds per position. So we'll do 20 seconds of narrow push-ups, 20 seconds of conventional, 20 seconds wide with your hands outside of your frame. We don't need to demo that. You can do it on your knees or on your toes. Just, they're just push-ups. You know, I mean, not that any push-up is just a push-up. They're amazing, but yes. So narrow, conventional, wide. From there, very good. We're gonna do kneel to stand squats. So you're on the floor there. Now you're gonna take, or sure, we're gonna go start standing. So you're gonna kneel, kneel, stand, stand. 
back with the other leg. So you're alternating which legs are going up and down first. So you're not always favoring your strong side. Very good. Now, Nikolai was showing you the hard way, which is to stay low. If that is too intense, stand all the way up between each stand, okay? So you get that little break and then go back to the floor. The last exercise, bottoms up, clean and press, or I'm sorry, clean and squat. So you're gonna flip that kettlebell upside down, hold it in the corner, swing it between your legs, flip it up to the chest position, chest height for the bottoms up clean and then squat. That is it, bottoms up clean and squat. That's gonna be 30 seconds per side. We're gonna go through it twice. I feel like you've had a lot of rest. So who's ready to rock and roll? That guy, 20, 20, 20 push-ups. Don't stop now. Narrow position in three, two, one, and go. I will call out your switches. Great, beautiful plank position. I could draw a nice straight line from the heels to the hips to the shoulders. Switching to conventional right now. Go ahead, walk those hands out a wee bit and continue. We're going quality over quantity on these. Getting ready for the widest one in three, two, one. Step those hands out, last 20 seconds here. So bring that chest close as you can to the floor for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and beautiful. Okay, kneel to stand, squat. So let's go ahead and start standing. And you're going down on one knee in 3, 2, 1, down on one knee down on the other knee. Pick up that foot again and stand back up and then reverse directions. Very nice. You can go at your own pace to get a folded up yoga mat or pillow down for your knees. Thirty seconds down, thirty to go. Twenty seconds. Hang in there for ten. Five, four, three, two. One and time, beautiful. All right, we're gonna stand back up. We're doing the bottoms up, clean and squat. Keep your free hand close by to catch that bell if it's too heavy for you to hold stable upside down. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze that handle and keep your elbow in tight. Drop it back down to the clean between each rep. Good job. Ten seconds till your switch. I always find it's easier if you're looking at the kettlebell, it'll stay balanced for you. And switch sides. Final 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good job. One round down. That means we have one quick three minutes of work to go before the end of class. So we're back to 2020 push ups. Narrow in three, two, one, hit it.
Very good, move your hands out. Conventional, go. All right, move your hands out for wide. Final 20 seconds, get it, get it, get it. If you're totally burned out, you can just hold the plank. If you got more gas, go, go, go for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good job, good job. Okay, kneel to stand squats. If you'd like to up the ante and hold a kettlebell during this one, you're welcome to, your choice by all means. Three, two, one, go. Kneel, kneel, stand, stand. Very good. Back the other way. Nice job, 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Extra credit for navigating your uh, yoga mat slash tripping hazard. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the hard work is done. Final minute, bottoms up, clean and squat is nothing, right? It's a break. Woo, in five, four, three, two, one, and hit it. Thumbs facing away from you, swing it upside down, squeeze everything in nice and tight. Drop your hips down, ATG folks, ATG. Beautiful. 15 seconds till our switch. 10 seconds till our switch. Five, four, three, two, one, and other side for our final 30 seconds of work. Work, 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 work. Fifteen. Ten. A five, four, three, two, one, and done. Very good work, especially for you, old man. <laughs> we have made it to our AMRAP. We're going to do five star planks on each side. So I mean five times you touch your right hand to your left toe and five times you touch your left toe, your left hand to your right toe and you alternate, right? You alternate back and forth. So he shall show you right now. So right hand, there's one, opposite hand, one, two, exactly, two. So that's the way you count that up to five. After you've done five, you're gonna hop up and you're gonna do five jerks or if you don't know how to jerk, uh, we'll teach you how in another video. But if you don't know how to jerk, you're gonna do a push press where you just dip with your knees to build up that little bit of momentum from your legs and assist with the press overhead. Uh, the jerk, uh, you, there's more momentum and you catch it in the under squat. So five on each side. We're gonna go through that as many times as we can in five minutes. Everybody get it? Five star planks on each side, five jerks on each side, or push press, should you not jerk. All righty. Stalling, official stalling happening right now. Are you ready? Pace setters ready? I know you guys at home are ready. Starting with star plank in three, two, one. Hit it. So your hips come down into a normal plank between each rep, all the way into a nice solid plank. Out. 
After you've gotten through those, you do your five each side. You can also do them concurrently. If you're gonna do them concurrently, go ahead and give me 10. Minute down. Minute and a half off the clock. Great work, you guys. Five star planks. Five jerks or push press. Two minutes down, three minutes to go. Pace yourself. We want to finish strong. And this third minute, toss up if it's the hardest or the fourth minute, but you're in the thick of it either way. Hang in there, hang in there. Great work, we've passed the halfway mark. Woo! Two minutes and 15 seconds left. Less than two minutes to go. Beautiful. All right, hang in there for 90 seconds is all. 90 seconds, you can do it. Get it, get it, get it. Forty five seconds left. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. All right, it's final ten seconds. Just keep doing whatever you're doing all the way to the end. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and congratulations. That is time. Very good work. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna do a quick cool down stretch. We're gonna start with a forward bend. You can do it from the floor seated if you prefer, 
or you can start from standing. I like to start standing. I take my chin to my chest and then one vertebra at a time, slowly bend over to the floor. Once you're hanging from your waist, you can nod your head yes, shake your head no, brush your fingertips across the floor, whoosh, whoosh, and relax. We're pretty excited that we got this new uh, Hypervolt, so uh, I think our pace setter is going to be even more excited tomorrow to use it after this workout today. All right, go ahead and make your way to the floor. We're going to do 30 seconds of crab reaches. So your push your hands and your feet into the floor, lift your hips off the ground, and reach one hand over the opposite shoulder. And this isn't super fast, just gonna reach, come back to the middle on your own time and switch. Got about time for one more on each side. Very good. So next we're going to make it down onto your back. You take your right foot, place it in front of your left knee, grab behind your left knee or that shin, whatever's comfortable, so that you can pull it in tight. Feel that wonderful stretch. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Left foot on the right knee, grab behind. Excellent. Go ahead and roll over onto your tummies. We're going to do a scorpion stretch. So your arms are spread out to a T. Let's go with your left arm is straight. You're going to pick up your right heel and cross it over your body towards that left hand. Your right arm can be bent and you can press your palm into the ground to help leverage yourself and assist in that getting that great pec stretch you should feel on your left side. And roll back to the middle and switch. So your right arm is straight, left arm is bent. And let's bring it on back for Cobra. You can rest on your forearms or press up onto your wrists with straight arms. Feet are fairly close together. Your spine is just hanging loosely off your shoulders. Letting go of anything you're holding on to in your lower back. And when you're ready, we're gonna shoot our hips back over our feet or between your feet, whatever's more comfortable. And then walk your hands out in front of you until you feel that nice stretch in your lats and you're gonna have child's pose. You take some deep breaths and on the exhales, try to get your chest and your hips a little closer to the floor.
All right, thank you so much for joining us. If you're uh, watching us on YouTube and you like this video, uh, you know, like it for real. Hit that little button, like, subscribe, ring that bell, all that YouTube stuff. Join our mailing list if you're on Pro Kettlebell. Nikolai, you need a big thank you and a hug and a shower. <laughs>